The Caribbean Research and Development Institute, CAUDI, and the Ministry of Agriculture have taken proactive steps to safeguard the productivity of the coconut subsector. This as an intensive one-day workshop was convened for coconut farmers, plant health and extension advisory services officers of the Ministry of Agriculture on improved funnel trap design for trapping the South American palm weevil, more commonly called the coconut weevil. Newly installed Cardi representative for St. Lucia Barry Innocent says this activity supports the ongoing interventions by the Plant Research and Development Department of the Ministry of Agriculture to protect the integrity of crops, maintaining buoyancy within the subsector, and building resilience of our local food systems against pests and diseases. This training is important for two main reasons. One is national food security. And, and, and that's because a lot of persons depend on the coconut industry in one form or the other for, as a, a food in itself. But also the other important reason is for rural livelihoods or allowing streams of income for the, the farmers and the processors. I mean, look, when you drive the highways of St. you see so many people selling coconut water. You go to the supermarket, you see so many coconut products. In light of these livelihoods, we thought it important to work with the Ministry of Agriculture and at their request to provide this training that would help in identification, training and identification of the pests, how to manage the, the pests, how to put traps for the pests, and how to control the pests. Because if this pest is not controlled, it can affect the coconut industry in St. Lucia. The training workshop focused participants' attention on the updated protocol for the management and surveillance of the coconut weevil under the guidance of visiting plant health specialists attached to the Cardi Cayman Island office, Dr. Anika Minot. According to her, Proper identification and management of the pest is essential should St. Lucia make good on its plans to grow the coconut subsector and develop the coconut value chain. The Rhynchophorus palmarum, that's the, or the South American palm weevil, it's been present in St. Lucia, uh, but now we're seeing it expressing itself a lot more. Now this weevil has a potential, it is a pest of the coconut, and uh, it can, if you have a lot of larva feeding on the plants, it can kill the, the tree. It also vectors the red ring nematode, which also is a problem on coconuts as well. It's critical that we address the situation because this could potentially um, cause losses to the trees. The Agriculture Ministry has, over the years, worked on implementing interventions and programs to help build capacity within the coconut subsector. This week's training workshop on the management of the coconut weevil was an output by CARDI and the Agriculture Ministry under the Coconut Industry Development Project, which is funded by the International Trade Center, the ITC, through the European Union and the Organization of African, Caribbean and Pacific Countries, the ACP. From the Information and Communication Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Amanda Fay Clark reporting.